Hello everybody, welcome to another housing event. This is going to be the last event for the one year housing anniversary. I think today's June 20-something. I can't remember the date. My phone's off. I think it's the June 22nd is the, is the correct date. Well, anyways, we have a few people here already. We have Mr. Hud, of course. We have Krim, aka Andrew Silversaver. We have Caster Starbot. We have Rune Bladestorm. We have Eolin. We have Ava Blood Knight over there. We have Malik over there as a counselor. All familiar faces. Oh, and there's Ralph Gravity Razor too, of course. Now I wonder how many lots we will go to today, because since it's the last one, I know it says here, over here, that we're going to be visiting as many lots as we can. If anybody has a lot to show off, I don't. So in the meantime, we'll just wait around, see if anybody else comes around, and if that's not the case, then I'll just start the recording up again once we're in a lot. Alright, so we picked up another guy, Bushido, here. And, uh, nobody else has joined yet, so we're, everybody's just arguing who goes first, and it looks like Ava wants to go first. Uh, but we will see whether or not that she is picked first. I'm assuming she will be, because she's the only one that has actually volunteered at this point. So, in the meantime, we will wait and see if anybody else joins. Alright, so here we are at Ava Blood Knight's lot for the very first actual housing event, but I'm guessing this might be a troll of some sort, because we're all locked inside. Oh look, there's even a little waiting area here. Is this supposed to be an elevator of some sort? I mean, I wouldn't say this is really a troll per se, because there is some actual tombstones here, but the only question is which one is mine? Or do I not have one because I don't deserve one? Alright, let's see how long we are stuck in here for. Uh, Ava the Troller over here at least gave us something to see. This is still actually pretty neat for a foundation, if she's going to be building something here. I would think that she is, but um, I would assume there should be a another idea being added here soon enough. And now, which one of these tombstones is mine is the question. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, well maybe we'll go to the next lot very soon, but at least everybody got a good laugh about this one. Alright, so here we are at the next lot, and it says the Daily Gamers. Okay, so I'm guessing that might be a clan or a squad that he might actually start using. Not really much in here, but you know, it's still at least got something in it. But as for my lots, there is literally nothing in it. It is a disaster. Alright, well technically I do have something in the lot, it just looks really crappy. But I wonder if there's going to be something on the outside. Because if there's going to be something on the outside, then I would probably be more impressed with it, actually. Because, you know, building outside is a lot more fun. And it seems like Ralph Gravity Racer is having trouble logging in today. Not very good for him. And you can jump on these lights, which is actually pretty good. Now, how high can you jump up here? Can you jump to the very top, or is it not good enough? I guess you can, but you just have to be very careful where you jump. Alright, I, maybe you have to jump on the G. Hmm? GG. Now, hold on a second. While we wait to, for the next lot, I'm going to check something, actually, in one of my own lots. Alright, so this is my really crappy looking... Uh, what am I saying? Je Jedi Living Quarters. As you can see, I literally just threw everything randomly around. It's, it stinks, but it was just randomly thrown, so... Maybe we can add a few more things before we head back. Okay, so I did add some stuff, actually, to my Jedi Living Quarters. I just didn't bother to record it because it wasn't really anything too exciting. And now, at least we have something here. There's a hollow table. And I wonder if he did anything outside when he came to building. It doesn't look like there was anything, but it does actually look uh, like he maybe he will. Who knows? Uh, let's see, maybe somebody will actually have a very good house with a lot of stuff to build. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing things together in my own Jedi living quarters because it's really bad looking. 
Alright, so now we are at Elon's lot, and she is doing a fantastic job with this, I think she called it the cylinder that she's making. I have to say, best lots we've seen so far, because it's actually got something in it. Now, I'm kind of curious to see if this is like a recreation of the Hindenburg or something. That would be interesting. But I'm guessing that's probably not what this is. Would be very interesting if that was the case. K kinda should be the Hindenburg, to be honest with you. Alright, we shall jump our way up there, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure if my jumping skills are any good, but we shall see. Okay, they're actually not too bad. Okay. 100% thinking of the Hindenburg right now. Pretty good view overall, actually. I like the overall view. And Mr. Malik and, H and Hutt over here be being T-posers. Alright, so here are the T-posers, Mr. Hutt and Malik. It's great that they always do this at almost every event. And now, let's see, is there anything on the inside yet? It doesn't look like there's anything inside, but I presume once it's completed, there's going to be some very interesting additions to the inside portion of this. Would be very interested to see how this turns out. Kind of reminds me of a skateboard rink a little bit, only difference is it's not closed in like this. Though imagine the skateboarder going all around 360 on this. That'd be very interesting. Or even just going 180. 180 would be very impressive on here. Now I'm kind of curious though, if there's going to be floors to this or not. I'm presuming there will be because you have to have a little control center around here. Okay, so there's nothing uh, going on here, back here yet. But I have to say, this is actually very well made so far. Alright, now everybody's just standing on the very front of this cylindrical project that Elon over here has been working on. Uh, I didn't even know General Arc Black joined us. Sorry, but now you, now that he's here... Oh yeah, Rio Vizsla also joined us too. So, now that they're here, welcome. Now, who's going to go next? Hmm. Since I don't have a good lot, maybe I should go next. Because I technically did build something in my Jai Living Quarters, it's just literally crap. But hey, maybe people will like it, maybe people won't. It's very abstract art at this point. Alright, so here we are at Rune Bladestorm's lot. It's a lot better than my Jedi Living Quarters because I literally just threw everything together. Ah yes, I remember this lot a little bit. I was here before. This looks very nice. And now, I also like the checker table. Maybe we, me and Rune can play some card commander here one day. Now the stage. Is this stage like karaoke? Is it rock and roll? Is it techno? What, what are we talking here? I think this is probably the, be the best lot so far. Because as I said, it's got something in it at least. Well, Elon is still number one, sorry. Uh, Rune, you did very well so far on the outside. But I would still say Elon's number one. Rune, you are now at number two. I wouldn't even put my lot at number three, but maybe some people will. Now I wonder if he's going to be putting some more money into this lot or not. Because I literally just bought every furniture set, mainly because I just wanted to have it, and now most of it I don't even use. So, what I'm going to do is... Oh, I forgot. I always got a friend request here from Bushido, so to the friends list you go. And now let's take a look here. Now, are we allowed to go outside this lot or not? I'm not too sure. Because I assume you can, since, you know, Rune does it. Oh, Malik, rip. Hopefully you log back in. Alright, like I said, this is already better than my lot. Or any of my lots, because as I said, I don't build in any of the lots that I have. Well, the Padawan Dorm, the Sith Academy lot, and the Ryloth lot, I have nothing in. Jedi Living Quarters, really bad job, but I really don't care because building's not very uh, how you say at the top of my priority list right now. As you see the road to 20 million credits is much more important to me. I'm definitely telling Rune. Second best place so far. Alright, so now people actually want to see my lot, which is n no good, actually. So let's see if we 
have our next lot or not. If not, I'll just go to the mine. Yep, it's definitely to our lot, or to my lot. Yeah, like I said, here's my lot. It is literally nothing here that's any good. If there is something here that's good, I'd be very surprised. And now, is there anything I can add here? Probably not. You know what? I'm gonna actually just, just scale this because it'll look ridiculous. <laughs> that's just so ridiculous looking. Hmm. Oh, that makes for good building material, actually. Might be an idea for a future project. Alright, we're good to go here. Alright, so... Literally, there's nothing good here. I just literally threw it together. Ah, I'm surprised Malik thinks this is interesting. I literally just threw everything together. Alright, now everybody's gonna be seeing the crappy lot that I have. But hey, maybe some people wouldn't mind it. I literally just threw it together. Alright, I'm actually surprised. People don't mind it, but you know, it, a lot's a lot. You get to visit another one. So like I said, it's just literally random. I just threw everything together just because it didn't look too good. But maybe, as I said, people can see this as abstract art. I literally just threw everything everywhere. Too bad I didn't buy more stuff, but... I promise you this is the only lot I have that has something in it. Um, so apparently, uh, Caster says, now this is my kind of house. Uh, room a mess, uh, got everything here, and they're c kinda like my room in real life. Yeah, my room is not like this. It's literally very organized. I see Mr. Silver Saber, aka Shadow Blade, is calling me a hoarder. I am not a hoarder, I am just a collector of things. But that's literally what a hoarder is, right? Yeah, Lynn asked me if I made this back before things got fixed and if this was still broken. I probably did, honestly. I literally just threw this all together many, many months ago, but a few of these things like the stairs and all this, this is all new. Uh, yeah, I thought the lights at the door was pretty good. I'm a very colorful individual. If you saw my collection of clothing, then you would uh, understand very well. And I wonder, do I have another thing of steps? Oh, actually, yeah, I do. I have these scaffolds or whatever you want to call them. I wonder... Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to do that. I'm going to throw that up here. Why not? And then, I don't know. Ah, Mr. Shadowblade, you got my way. Okay, why won't you let me select it? Let me select it! Thank you. I'm literally just building things as we go along. I, like I said, I only bought one of everything, so it's not going to be too impressive. Looks like I trapped Malik. Sorry, Malik. Didn't mean to do that. But, hey, I'll, it looks like he might have gotten out. There you go. Added some creativity to the top area there. Hey, Moldy Dog is here. Good to see. I wonder who will be next. I wonder if... Malik has anything built that he would like to show us. Elon showed us something good. Now, actually, maybe Moldy Dog or General Bl uh, Arc Black up there will g show something nice. Who knows? Alright, looks like Ava joined us here. I hope she doesn't make fun of my lot too much. If she did, then I definitely missed it. And I see Emil or Million, however you want to say his name, is joining us here. We are back with another lot here, and this is... Ava's a board game which all of us love to play. This is how I managed to win some some gear. I got first place in a board game against one of the uh, staff members and they gave me the Adept Jedi gear. So I thought it was a uh, pretty interesting and I do like that there's more grave markers here. And the very small statue here, does that mean if we stand here we have to go to the very beginning? That's what I think it means. Alright, now let's go take a look inside here and see how well we do. Yeah, beautiful kitchen. Love the kitchen, honestly. I could never make anything too good because I was never a very good builder. I only did the lock glitching. Now, only question is, is this a kitchen dining room setup or is it just the whole kitchen? Because it's a rather large kitchen. And now, I wonder what else there is. Is there another floor? I think there's another floor somewhere. 
All right, we have the living room area here, but it's, it lacks a TV. But I guess maybe that's what the little hollow projector is here. That's your TV. So I hope everybody enjoys their hollow projector TV. Yep, there is a second floor. Wonderful. All right. Hey, look, computer position. This is what I set at most of the day on the weekend. Uh, what else we have here? Uh, then we have a nice big window type area here. We got the bedroom. Didn't know Ava was a fan of the Republic though. I always thought she hated corruption in the Senate and all that. Guess not. All right, what else is there here? There's the nice balcony where you have a little picnic table, as I call it, because that's exactly what it looks like. And then you have your little outdoor seating for your patio. And then another one of these uh, tough statues. I keep forgetting what they're called. It's a statue, last I checked. Alright, and uh, the secondary patio. Also looks very nice. And now you have to get to the top there. I'm presuming there's a way up to the top. I don't know how to get up there, but I'm sure there's a way. I will probably have to find my way up there at a point. I have now been locked inside Eva's little jail, because I thought I saw some free credits inside here. Apparently there are none. That's sad, because, as I said, the road to 20 million credits is very important to me, and I really need to get to it before the end of summer. And, uh, I think in the next week or two I should have it. Probably in a week. But I'm not sure if, if uh, the event's fully over yet. But if it is, then I'll probably play Eva's board game here. If not, then we shall go to a 7th or 8th lot at this point. I think it's 8th. Alright, I'm not too sure if Ava has some weird obsession with jails, but I guess she doesn't like us seeing things, huh? Or maybe it's a way that so nobody can sneak up on her when she's playing many games. Alright, so here we are at, uh, I think this is Eva's lot? Eva Blood Knight's lot? Or Jedi Living Quarters? Ava, sorry. Can't get the name right. I like the lights so far. It's uh, very creative. I like how th she made her own little friend here that almost resembles a penguin a little bit. And I got some comfortable seating here, and I guess you can sit on the plants as a comfortable seat too if you'd like. And then of course you can go swimming here, even though I wouldn't suggest it. And what else do we have? The mace window. And a bunch of more colorful plants here along with the Jedi statue, of course. Now I wonder if there's going to be any, uh, any other lots. If there are, I will be sure to show them off. But in the meantime, I shall wait. I see Eowyn is surprised with my gear that I won from that board game, huh? I just decided to show it. I'll just see if anybody noticed. And apparently she was the first one. I didn't think that anybody would, just because I just tend to keep the same gear on. From time to time I mix it up though. And it looks like we might be going to Caster's Lot next. So we shall see if everybody goes there. We have been trolled once again with another empty lot. But it's still the best lot we've seen so far, right? Wouldn't you agree everybody? Best lot so far? You know, I wonder how he got this pool in there. Because, you know, I don't remember ever there being Hey, uh, sorry, I can't keep a straight face with that. I don't remember there being a pool in here. Alright, I think we might be nearing the end of this housing event now because Mr. Hutt is now showing us his very cool looking lot. Before I even go inside, I see he's got the three very large Jedi statues here. Almost looks like they're... Uh, what were they called? Tombstones of some sort for the very ancient Jedi. And I really do like the... I, I can't remember what this is called. It's, it's on the awning. It's kind of like that, though. It's very creative looking, actually, so... I hope to see a very completed version of this soon, because it is very beautiful looking. Much better than my thrown together lot. Or what do I keep calling a lot? It's a Jedi Living Quarters. Now, let's take a look. Is there anything over here? No. Can I go to the second story here? I think you can, but you might have to go all the way back here first. Alright, let's take a look at some of these rooms before we even go upstairs. Alright, so, looks like a little bit of a storage area back here. Maybe some building materials for himself. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you go out here, and it looks like he's beginning to lay down a bunch of these construction materials as a floor, which looks very nice. 
Okay, so there's nothing in here, just the way up. Okay, it looks like he put a droid on a, a scarecrow stool and then locked it up. So I guess he doesn't really like droid scarecrows, neither would I. And now let's take a look and see if there is anything else of interest here. Looks like this is a library slash computer station area. Hey, can you play Force Perception on here? I'd love to play Force Perception again. So Mr. Hutt's house so far is looking really good. Probably also in the top three. And now let's see... Oh yeah, a nice view overlook into his library slash research area. You get a third story which seems to be getting worked on at the moment. It looks like we got ourselves some outdoor patio furniture getting added in. I see he's also doing that hollow projector table thing where you lower it down into the ground to make a new floor. That's nice too. Okay, what's this? Alright, it looks like it's a little hangout area with the, the statue once more, the Jedi statue. Very beautiful. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh yes, this is also neat how he managed to make this window area very, very nice looking. And now, is there anything on this top floor yet? No, there is not. However, you can do some parkour almost to make sure you don't fall over. And now over here, looks like it's just a open area, an open, let's see, I don't know, was this an octagon type shape? Or maybe a nonagon? You know, eight-sided, nine-sided. Looks pretty good. And now, let's see. If, uh, can I climb up there? I think you can, but I don't want to really start jumping all over the place. Looks like we're going to Malik's lot next, so I will be sure to, you know, cut the part out where I teleport. Take some time from time to time. Oh, you can even get on top of here. Cool. Alright, so here we are, Malik Plasma Owl's lot. This should probably be the 10th lot that we've been to now. I want to say it's 10. On the outside, a lot of creativity going on here. I already see it. It looks like we have ourselves a little hangout area out here, along with a bit of a plant area. We'll grow your plants. Looks like that's for both of these sides, but, but maybe it's just a hangout area, just in general. Got the big rocks. Alin would probably like the big rocks. And then we have a very interesting looking hollow projector table with all these different colors on it. Definitely love it. Almost kind of looks like a game that he tried to make. Very interesting looking actually. And now let's see what else there is. There's this large checkered table, which also looks like a type of game, or it could be a type a meeting type area. And then of course you have the places to eat here with the big benches. Get some other tables here. Lots of furniture, I see. The big Jedi statue, of course. Looks very, very cool. I really like this, actually. And now you can go up two different ways. That's good. Uh, let's go this way. I don't think it really matters. It takes you up the same way either way. Looks like we got ourselves some side rooms here. Maybe for some private meetings. You know, discuss the, the plotting of, of the uh, Separatists. Oh, look, you can go out here, too. But before we do that... Let's just continue on with our exploration here. Looks like we have some... Was that? A bedroom area and a little work desk area. So it looks like this might be the bedroom. I could be wrong, though. Oh, look, another hollow projector area. Looks like, looking pretty good. Really liking the ideas of all these meeting areas. Really, really liking all these different colored lights that are added in as well. Looks like you got yourself a nice little area to just sit and chill in. That's good too. And now is there anything on the other side here that I missed? Uh, more of the same. Still looks pretty good. Alright, uh, let's see, should we go upstairs? I think maybe we should go all the way up. And then we'll work our way out. Alright, looks like we have ourselves a fairly different floor here with another type of computer area along with some storage 
And it looks like another bedroom back here. Looking pretty good. Alright, so let's go over here. Looks like another area for a meeting. Nice. Got some... What are they called? Some uh, storage here. Another big statue with some more awesome lights. Very good. I wonder, is there any... Uh, am I missing anything else on this floor? Looks like you can go up there. If you go up enough. Alright, looks like we have ourselves another little hangout area here. Looking pretty good. I'm also reading the chat over here a little bit, so... If you see me lose my attention, it's because I'm reading the chat a little bit. Alright, I'm really liking all these flags that Malik put in. Look very nice. Alright, another area where it looks like almost a minigame type thing that you can do. This is a very creative Lyle. I really like this one. Might actually be moved up to one of the top two. Is there another floor? I don't think there is, but I just wanted to make sure. Uh, no, looks good. Alright, let's head back down. Well, we have to go down first, because I did miss something down here. I didn't go all the way back. Just follow this. And you are on the scaffolds here, and it looks like another very cool looking hangout place. Looking very nice. Is there anything on the first floor down here? Oh, there is. Cool. Um, okay, that just leads back up to there, which we were at. Let's jump down to here. And once again, very, very colorful. All the different lights, all the different little hangout areas. Looking really cool. I really like this. Now, I think you can get to the very top somewhere. Let's take a look and see if we can find our way up. Alright, ooh, these are very large uh, scaffolds, as I call them. I like the what these torch type things. I can't remember what they're called. And now here's another hangout area. I see Rune's just kind of standing there. Hey Rune, you there? Hello? No? Okay. Um, let's take a look here. Looks like another hangout area. Looking very interesting with all the different lights. Well, they're all the same light, but they're all organized in a very cool way. Alright, and okay. Looks like another desk area. This would probably be my sitting area because you could see the outside of the Ryloth lot, which is very cool. Alright, and it looks like this is as high as we can go. Alright, and I think there's probably going to be more additions to this. I have a feeling Malik's going to be adding more. I don't know what's going to be added in, but maybe he said so and I just missed the... the what do you call it? Missed the message. And now, let's go over here. I don't think I saw... well, or, well I was over here. I don't think there's anything on the other side, is there? I might have missed something. I probably missed a couple of rooms, knowing my luck. I don't know where everybody else went. Okay, they went to Malik's other lot, right? Uh, yeah, the Je Jedi living quarters. I just wanted to show that entire thing off. Oh, that didn't take too long. And now here's Malik's Jedi living quarters. Look, I got the name of the lot right for once. Alright, looks like we've got some more interesting exploration stuff here. I love that he includes all the lights. I'm a very colorful individual, and this visually just looks very stunning. And now let's take a look at some of these areas that he's built. Got a nice, nice little hangout area. Looks like we got ourselves a nice area to eat and to play some more games on the hollow projector table. And, or either one, the hollow projector table or the checkerboard table. Maybe this is a checkers chest type thing. And it looks like we have another hangout area here. Uh, there's Lynn on her rock, I of course. I think we also have a little hangout area underneath here too. Oh yeah, check this out. This is nice. Oh, okay, so that's how you get over here. You just go around. Too bad he didn't build on the outside yet. If he did, then it would actually probably be a lot cooler too. Now I wonder if you can start building like the personal hangar on the party deck if they ever get around to adding it. Uh, yep, another hollow rejector table. Alright, I think we're set now. I will just pause the recording here, and if there's another lot we're going to, then I will show you the next lot. Yep, alright, before I go to Malik's next lot, I just wanted to show off... I missed a scarecrow, I missed a lighting fixture up here, and he apparently has 
a giant pumpkin outside along with some storage on the outside. So now we shall head over to his next lot. Alright, so here we are at Malik's Sith Academy lot. It looks like he's been putting a lot of effort into this one so far. I see we have to climb up some steps first and then we could do some exploring. Not like this is going to make you too busy. Or too dizzy, I should say. Alright, looks like we have ourselves a nice little flat area up here for some building. Not sure what what uh, Malik is going to be building it with, but I'm very interested to see what happens. Oh, nice. There's this little area here with the little fluorescent light. Can't say that word. Alright, can we go over here? See anything interesting? Oh, this is cool. Hmm. Alright, you know what? Maybe we should use a, uh, a mount. But I'm just, I'm not lazy, but I just don't really want to do that. Come to the hallway. Okay. We'll be there very shortly. I'm just checking to make sure I'm not missing anything. Want to try to document as much of this law as possible. Which has been built up quite a bit. Alright, doesn't look like I'm missing too much of anything else. Alright, two, two over here we go. Alright, so it looks like Malik is trying to glitch us outside of the Sith Academy lot. This might actually work out, and we'll get to do some lot exploration. I don't want to run out yet. Alright, looks like we're, we might be in. Yep, we are, and we found our way over here. That's an interesting way to figure out how to get outside of this lot. Alright, so let's see what, where this leads to. I'm very interested. Very dark, but maybe that's just my own effects. Now, I wonder if there's going to be another one of Malik's parkour maps out here. Because if that's the case, I'm going to be needing a new computer monitor. <laughs> oh, hello. Now that's very interesting. Yeah, well, little hangout area. Only question is, where did he get these lava retardant, uh... Uh, furniture, that's what I meant to say. Very beautiful, very nice. Now we all know how to glitch outside the Sith Academy lot, nice. Though I'm sure if you if you could just build up and push yourself out, you could have just gone out that way, but either way, this is still pretty neat. Alright, so here we are at Malik's Padawan dorm, and I think I might have seen this in its infancy many, many months back. But it looks like we got ourselves a little hangout area downstairs, along with this very large looking table with uh, a vibe of a military type planning strategy table. We got ourselves a great hangout up here, another great idea with the, the hollow projector with all the different colors, really liking that. And of course we always have the the computer area, which I, I like to call it, or the research area. Got the checkerboard table with the lights, always nice. Got the extra storage, you got the bedroom. And I think there's something else on the other side of this, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay, well, didn't realize people were going outside. Sorry. Okay, well, that sucks, Dick. <laughs> Alright, so now we have a glitch outside of... Malik's lot of the Paddle One Dorm, and uh, we are back to the parkour stuff. Wonderful! This is how I break monitors. I am definitely not trying parkour course. I am going to get annoyed, and I will have to rage quit. It's very creative, though. I do like the way that this is all done. And now, what shall we try before we even do anything here? Um. Yeah, I think we'll go over this way. Yep, the, yeah, the three parkour levels, yeah, of course. I wonder... Ooh, whoa, okay. Didn't know you can do that. Alright, we have another area over here. We've got ourselves the other, like, general str strategy area. That, that's what I call it anyways. And now, can I go up? Yes, I can, but let's go down first. Let's just make our way down. Got ourselves another hangout area here. Looking very nice. Uh, looks like another hangout area. Cool. Is there anything I'm missing back here? Nope, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go back up. And up again. 
and up a third time. Oh yeah, and of course you have the cool lights. Oh, yep, here we are, again. Just wanted to show that off. Looks like we got ourselves... Yeah, that's the parkour course there. I'm not even going to bother doing that. And not yet, anyways. Got ourselves another bedroom area. Got ourselves a little lounge hangout area here, too. Got ourselves the place to eat if you're hungry. Alright, let's go up here, see if we... Uh, find something new. Alright, this looks like the... Uh, we will call it the roof area, which has a lot of interesting little areas that you can hang out on. Got the giant Jedi statue. And now let's try out one of these courses here. Oh yes, and it looks like you can also go down here too. As there seems to be some more sitting areas for yourself as well. Looking really good. Now, I'm curious to see how much he spent credits-wise on this. I'd say at least a million, maybe two. I'm going to try out one of these parkour courses. I'm probably going to fail at every single one of them, but let's try it out. But I don't know, which way's first? Alright, you know what? Um, should we use a speeder? You know what? Let's, let's use a Mandalorian speeder. See how this goes. Oh, there's something at the very top there, too. That's good. Okay, I see. Y you probably have to use the staff. I'm probably using the uh, worst, worst possible area, but... Okay, looks like I did something wrong there. Okay, I didn't do too bad there, actually. Nice. Alright, let's use the staff and let's go to the very top. Alright, so we finally made it to the top of Malik's Padawan dorm. And it looks like we have another very nice looking hangout area. Very cool. And I guess this is as high as you can build without it saying error cannot b build or excess height or whatever. Now it looks like I'm lagging a little bit. That's interesting. Hmm, must not be used to being this high up. Oh yeah, well, anyways, it looks like there might be a possible other lot, but in the meantime, I will just pause the recording here. If there's nothing new, I will end the video here. Alright, so I think the housing event is now over, but what we're doing now is possible parkour here on uh, Malik's other lot, other Ryloth lot. Or is this his first one? Maybe it's his first Ryloth lot. Oh yes, I remember this. I was here. Nice. Cool. Alright, so. I didn't show it off though. It's a very impressive lot. Yeah, one on the left is the work in progress. Yeah, then this one here was the difficult one. Ah uh, yes, I remember this one. I actually beat it, but it took me 1500 times. So you know what? Let's see what we can do here. What's There's no way in hell I'm doing this on my first try. I'll be lucky if I if I even get to do this on my on my uh 15th try. Interesting. I remember this one very well. Let's see how far I can get though. Uh, okay, that was actually pretty far! Uh, so for the first time that was actually pretty good! Uh, even though I did beat this already. So anyways, thank you all for watching and I will have this uploaded probably in a week or two depending on how long it takes to upload.